गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो कैन यू सेंड मी दर्ड्स वॉट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द लास्ट क्लास एनी वन ऑफ यू can you send me the words what we have discussed in the last class okay faraday's cathode ray tube very good so that's what we have discussed one concept that is related to cathode rays right so the experiment or the instrument is called as cathode ray tube which was conducted by faraday right so now what are the features of cathode rays so they are invisible right can be detected by using fluorescent molecules right or photoluminescence molecules that's where we have the cathode rays which are actually invisible in nature next what else we have discussed yes nature and origination yes invisible then we have discussed that it will be moving towards the it will moving towards the anode it will move towards the anode right so that is another feature that is another feature of cathode rays then cathode rays originated from the cathode originated from cathode and then they will move towards the anode that's what we have written okay then in the presence of electric and magnetic field in the presence of electric and magnetic field what will happen they will behave as they will behave as electrons they will behave as electron right yes ullas in the absence of absence of electric i will just mention it as e and magnetic field as m so in exam you should not write like this so in the absence of electric and magnetic field moves in a straight line absolutely correct moves in a straight line but one important point i have not written one important point which is that that is cathode rays characters are independent or properties are independent of the nature of the gas properties of cathode rays they are independent independent of the nature of gas nature of gas which are present inside the cathode ray tube all of you have understood that's what we have studied with respect to cathode rays so in this case very important point is they will behave as electron in the presence of electric and magnetic field then they are originated from cathode and move towards the anode and the last one they are independent of the nature of the gas so that's what we have discussed in the last class then what else what else we have discussed hmm? what else we have discussed 
Then we have discussed about the canal rays. Then we have discussed about the canal rays. Right? Now, canal rays, they are originated from anode. Originated from anode. Right? So now, they will move towards the cathode. Move towards the cathode. Then, in the presence of, in the presence of, this one it may, it's not required, in the presence of electric and magnetic field. E and M. Don't write that one in exam. Short form. In the presence of electric and magnetic field, behaves opposite to that of behaves opposite to that of cathode rays. Okay? So that is important. Then the last one that is last one it will be when I am talking about opposite to that of the cathode rays. So the last one that should be depends on the its properties are depends on the nature of the gas depends on the nature of the gas present in the tube right so why that depends on nature of the gas because here two particles are involved neutron and proton with respect to cathode rays only electrons were involved all of you have understood so that's what we have discussed in the last class. Cathode rays, they are a bit important. Canal rays, okay, fine. But cathode ray, it is important. Bit important, not very important at all. Okay. Now, then we have discussed about charge by mass ratio, which was identified by, yes, Gautam, absolutely correct. J.J. Thompson, charge by mass ratio then by millikan's experiment that is oil drop experiment they identified what is the mass and what is the charge especially what is the charge of the electron all of you agree so like this electrons protons and neutrons have been discovered but until until that time until all these discoveries were happening until that time, what people used to think? Atoms are indivisible. They are the final. Nothing else beyond the atom. That's what people used to think. But because of these people's contribution, now we know that, no, atoms are not the final one. Even there will be presence of electrons, neutrons and protons within the atom. Right? All of you have understood? Now, no need to worry about charge value, mass of electron, nothing. No need to worry about all those things. Okay? But all of us, we know that mass of the electron is almost negligible. Mass of the electron is almost negligible. Okay? Because we know that it is somewhere around 9.1 into 10 to Still values are there. Minus 31. Right? So that is the mass, 10 to the power of minus 31. So that is with respect to K. Okay, I have to write the unit. Then when it comes to neutron and proton, almost the same. So 1.66, some more values are there. 10 to the power of minus 21 K. Okay, so that's where neutron and proton, almost the same value, electron is this is the one. But compared to proton, neutron, neutron is slightly higher weight. Neutron will be slightly higher weight. Okay? So, otherwise they are almost the same. So, therefore, please remember that mass of the atom, mass of the atom is concentrated, is concentrated in the nucleus 
concentrated in the nucleus please remember this one mass of the electron if i take uh, approximate value because writing this one will be difficult right so therefore people will tell approximate mass of electron will be considered as zero it will be considered as zero and with respect to neutron and proton they will consider approximate mass as one so that's where mass of the atom is concentrated in the nucleus electrons will have the minimal effect electrons will have the minimal effect all of you have understood so that's where we have the mass of the electron and mass of the proton and neutron so proton and neutrons they are present inside the nucleus p should be small letter and there should be positive charge when you are representing proton so neutron small letter n okay and this is electron with negative sign if you write only e then it will become charge so we are talking about electron therefore e minus okay so that's where we have the mass of the electron which is almost negligible and mass of the atom is concentrated inside the nucleus why because nucleus is composed of okay i will repeat so nucleus is composed of proton and electron okay so what i mean to tell you is when i am talking about electron it should be represented as e minus and when i am talking about proton it should be represented as p plus it's not capital p small p then when i am talking about neutron it should be represented as n and don't forget to mention minus because if i write only e that can be one of the symbol for charge that can be the symbol for the charge okay so therefore e minus so negatively charged positively charged and if you remember charge of electron is minus 1.6 into some values are there 10 to the power of minus 90 now here plus 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 90 so that's where we have the charge of the electron and charge of the proton okay so they are equal and opposite so therefore atoms are neutral due to the equal and opposite please remember in an atom a neutral atom when i am writing sodium i don't give any charge i don't give positive or negative charge okay so i am talking about sodium atom so there is no charge in this in this sodium it should have electron which will be equal to number of proton number of electron should be equal to number of proton neutron can vary neutron can vary does not have any charge so therefore it is called as neutral neutron okay so that's why in an atom electron and proton numbers will be equal since their charge are equal and opposite so the net charge on an atom will be zero it will be a neutral but if i tell na plus that means i am not talking about the sodium atom now i am talking about sodium iron right na plus so where number of electron got decreased and number of proton will be remaining same number of electron got decreased because electron has been removed so therefore it will be represented by positive charge because number of proton since it is remaining same since electron has been lost so one electron has been lost so due to that there will be excess of one positive charge which is due to the one increase in number of proton so that will be represented by positive sign so therefore whenever we are talking about the atom they should be neutral if they are having charge that means we are talking about ionic form of the atom we are dealing with the ions it can be negatively charged when electrons are gained when electrons are more in number compared to proton 
or it can be represented with positive charge when electron has been lost. So these things you should remember. Fine. So that's where we have the atom. All of you have understood. Any doubt in this? With respect to yesterday's class, any doubts? Okay. So shall we move to the next one? If you remember, in the last class I told that this chapter first we have the history. How these electrons, they have been discovered. Okay. So then, how this neutron and proton, they came to know that there is the existence of neutron and proton. So that's what we have discussed yesterday's class. Now, once history is done, once we know that, people came to know that, yes, there is the existence of electron, there is the existence of proton and neutron. Now the question here is, how they will be arranged? How, what exact arrangement of this electron, neutron and proton will happen? Yes, Stephen, yes. So therefore, now we are going to discuss about atomic model. Now we are going to discuss about atomic model. Different, different atomic models are there. So in that, first one is J.J. Thomson's. First one is J.J. Thomson's atomic model, which is also called as plum pudding model. Which is called as plum pudding model or we can call it as watermelon we can call it as watermelon atomic model okay plum pudding or watermelon atomic model or jj thompson's atomic model one and all same <clears throat> okay so anyway don't worry Whenever it is required, as you people know, I will be writing very important, important and all. But these things you should be knowing. Okay? So that's where we have the J.J. Thompson's atomic model, which is called as Plum Pudding. Model we know. Because in high school and all, people might have done scientific model, representing some concept. That's where we have the model. Okay? Now, what we are representing here? Structure of the atom. That's where it is called as model. So in that case, what do you mean by plum pudding? So plum cakes, all of you might have tasted plum cakes. So right, so same concept is applicable here. What sir, you are comparing atom to vegetable items? No, I am not comparing. It was compared by J.J. Thompson. So what he tells is, if you observe the plum cakes, if I take fruits, which is that fruits we are at putting into cakes and all. I forgot pink color, yellow color and all they will put na? dark green color. Mm. Anyway, I forgot. Huh? So those fruits, even in some breads they will put. Sweet breads. So those fruits they will put. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Not strawberry. Okay, it is cherry. Yes, yes. So that cherry fruits, they will small, small pieces they will put. Na? So it will be distributed throughout the cake in some cases. Right? So that's where plum pudding. Okay? So inserting something throughout the cake. That's why it is called as plum pudding model. Now if you observe it carefully, yes, it is cherry. So it will be distributed throughout the cake. Plum is, I'm comparing with the cake, okay? Tutti frutti. That one I don't know, pa. Tutti frutti. I should ask my son. Whether he knows tutti frutti, I don't know. Okay, now. So then, if you observe it carefully, so plum pudding and watermelon, there is some comparison. What, sir? You are comparing a fruit with the bakery item? Yes, there is some comparison. What is that? If you observe even in watermelon also, seeds will be inserted throughout the fruit. Right? That red part will be there pith region and throughout that there will be insertion of seeds that is the creation nature's creation and this is human creation but both are having similarity right so therefore if i take this one as a watermelon 
and we have white board white this one you can imagine that is the red part of the watermelon which we are consuming which we are going to eat and whatever dots i have written they are all the black seeds present in those red part of the watermelon all of you will agree so that's where we have the thomson's model because he told that this one you can consider as a atom this one you can consider as a atom and whatever red part of watermelon is there in our case it looks like white color but i told imagine that that one has a red part so that will be a positive part of the atom that will be positive part of the atom and whatever black seeds are there throughout the fruits they will be considered as negative part that means this will be compared with the proton and this will be compared with the electron so that's what j j thompson he told so what he told is positive part is distributed throughout the atom and same way equal and opposite of electrons will be distributed throughout the atom like a watermelon or like a plum pudding so therefore they called it as plum pudding model or watermelon model which can be considered as j j thompson model anyway now it has been discarded it has been disagreed completely now we know atoms are not like this it has been discarded okay so that's where we have the j j thompson model anyway which are we are not going to follow which are not following this one but this was the one which was given for the atomic model by j j thompson any doubts in this hmm? any doubts okay so if you don't have any doubt now i have very very important even i can use another we also very 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 important atomic model very very important atomic model okay so that is nothing but rudder force that is nothing but rudder force rudder force nuclear model the force nuclear model of an atom okay it is very very important okay so normally they will ask for 3 marks question on this in board exam so that's what that's why we have the rudder force nuclear model of an atom now the question can be explain the rudder force nuclear model of an atom that can be one explanation one question another question can be explain the rudder force uh, gold particles scattering experiment or alpha particles scattering experiment got my point so now what i will do is before going for the rudder force atomic model first i will explain the experiment what he has performed okay so that's where question can be either can be atomic model or it can be on the experiment that is rudder force alpha particle scattering experiment now i'll be talking about rudder force alpha particle scattering experiment okay so that means by using the gold foil He used thin gold foil. Okay, so now alpha particle. Before going to the experiment, you should know what are alpha particles. Alpha particles are nothing but helium nucleus. They are nothing but helium nucleus. He does not mean we are talking about English. He and she. No, this is helium symbol for the atom. i know most of you might be knowing simply i was kidding okay so this is helium nucleus which will be having positive charge no nucleus nucleus means no electrons so therefore it will have the positive charge it will have the positive charge 
helium atomic number is 2 anyway all these things you are going to discuss in your periodic classification of element so atomic number is 2 that means helium should have the 2 electrons so those 2 electron has been lost so only nucleus is left over so therefore plus 2 charge so alpha particles are nothing but helium nucleus that means they should have the positive charge okay now they will be originated from the radioactivity they can be originated from the radioactivity so what he did is he took the source of alpha radiation he took the source of alpha radiation okay now it was filtered by using lead plate it was filtered by using lead plate okay i will write the spelling also lead plate then he has put a one thin gold foil he has put thin gold foil gold foil all of you might have know about aluminium foil right so in food packing they will give parcel and all they will put thin silver colored foil na which we will call it as aluminium foil so that is thin layer of aluminium same way thin gold foil he has used okay so this is source of alpha radiation so this is lead plate why they are using lead plate to filter the excess radiation then they have kept thin gold foil and on the side of after the gold foil they have put fluorescent film fluorescent film that is nothing but zinc sulfide they have kept fluorescent screen fluorescent screen and it will be of zinc sulfide it will be of zinc sulfide all of you have understood now, alpha radiation which will be coming, which will be filtered through the lead plate, it will go to hit the gold foil. It's going to hit the gold foil. There will be continuous radiation, different, different radiation which will be coming towards the gold foil. They will hit the gold foil. They are going to hit the gold foil. Now, some of them or many of them they will pass straight through the gold foil many of them they will pass straight through the gold foil some of them they will get deviated they will get deviated there will be angle formation very few they will be bounced back very few they will be bounced back okay so Many of them, listen to me carefully, I will write here, most of the alpha radiation, most of the alpha radiation pass straight through the gold foil, pass straight through the gold foil. Okay, straight through the gold foil. All of you are understanding here words. Carefully observe it. I am writing most of the alpha radiation. That means maximum radiation they will pass straight through the gold foil without any deviation. Okay. Some of the alpha radiations. Some of the alpha radiations will be deviated deviated through the gold foil deviated through the gold foil okay deviated through the gold foil okay so that is another thing and the last one and the last one very few alpha radiations very few alpha radiations will be bounced back 
will be bounced back. Will be bounced back. All of you have understood. Will be bounced back. So whatever diagram I have shown, it is related to the experiment. How the experiment has been performed. Whatever points I have written, these are the observations from the experiment. So whatever I have written here, these are the observations. These are the observations. Okay, so don't worry. I will explain it once again. So now the question can be: Explain the Rutherford's gold foil experiment, or explain the Rutherford's alpha particle scattering experiment for three marks. Now what you have to do is first you should draw the diagram. Okay, so then you should mention, you should label the parts. Then you should label these things also, radiations also. Then what are those observations? That one you have to write. And we have three observation which was observed by the gold foil experiment. So what is that? Most of the radiation they will pass straight through the gold foil. Most. That means maximum radiation. Sir, in the exam should we use the word alpha rays or alpha radiations? Alpha radiation. Anything is fine. But appropriate word is radiation. Okay, you can use alpha rays also, no problem. Okay, now when I observations, alpha radiation or rays, alpha rays pass straight through the gold foil without any deflection or deviation. They will maximum will pass through the gold foil. Next, some of the alpha radiation. Will be deviated or will be deflected. Okay, sir. So why gold foil? So gold foil because we can make the thin uh, layer of gold because all of us we know it's a soft metal, right? So we can make the thin layer of the gold. So what we want here is a thin layer of a metal. If I have a thick, there can be interaction of radiation with one layer with another layer. So we don't want that one to happen. We want as thin as possible a metal plate. Okay. So that might be the reason he chose gold foil. Okay. So now when I am talking about second point, some of the alpha radiations will be bounced. Okay, Gautam. It's Gautam only, na? So it will be bounced. Okay, B O U. Okay, bonds means uh, I will count on it. So some of the alpha radiations deviated. Why not aluminium? So that time they might not be so much this one up. They might not be knowing that even aluminium we can have the thin layer. So that might be the reason he might have used gold. Anyway, exact reason I will let you know. Okay, so I think so. Exact reason I will let you know. But very important point here is they wanted a thin, thin, very thin layer of the metal because to have the exact result. So in nuclear power plant factories, people uses lead coat to avoid yes radiation that affect them. But in this model, lead allow radiation. How? No, 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 no. In the beginning only I told it will be filtered. Lead plate thickness is going to decide. Okay, it's going to be decided by the thickness of the lead plate. So why they are using lead plate? Because alpha radiation, they are energetic radiation. If they allow without lead plate, if they allow the whole radiation to enter through the gold foil, the result would have been uh, havoc. So to avoid that one, they want only some radiations to enter into the gold foil to get the result. Okay, therefore they are using the lead plate. Okay, so thickness of the lead plate is going to decide. Yes, you are absolutely right. So lead plate they will be used to protect against the ra sorry radiations. That is absolutely correct. Rohan, that's what even I think. That's what I told. Gold can be having a different different shape because it is a soft metal. But any other reasons, I will let you know. Okay, so even. I have not thought about that, but I will let you know. Tomorrow I will tell. Okay?
So most of the alpha radiations they will pass straight through the gold foil. Now most important words are here. I have written most. Then I have used the word some. Some of the alpha radiations they will be deviated or deflected when passed through the gold foil. And the last one I have mentioned very few. Last one I have mentioned very few. So that's where I can use most, some and very few. So which tells that most means maximum. Some means very few. Means some means in the sense some amount, few amount. Very few means very very low amount. Right? So what I mean to tell you is very very less amount of radiation only will be bounced back. It's like I am hitting a cricket ball, tennis ball to the wall and it will come back to me. That is called as bouncing back. Right? So that's what it is called as bouncing back. If a parent tells something, okay? So I know my students will not be like that. Parents tell something, don't use the mobile, then students will bounce back. Kids will bounce back. Why I should not use? Right? Same way, when I am hitting a ball to the wall, it will come back to me. That is called as bouncing back. Okay? Now when I am hitting a corner of a wall, ball will not come back to me. It will be changing the direction. Okay? That is called as deviation or deflection. So that's what it, observations they made by this particular experiment. And based on these observations, he put forward a structure of the atom. He has put forward a structure of the atom. All of you have understood? Any doubts? This is alpha radiation scattering experiment. Or sometimes they will call it as alpha particle because they have the mass. So they will call it as alpha particle, no problem. Alpha rays, alpha particles, alpha radiations, anything is fine. Okay? Okay, fine. So in that case, this with respect to three mass question for experiment. Okay, this is for three mass question on the experiment, Ruther Force experiment. Now we will be explaining for this observation and for that he has proposed the atomic model. Why most of the radiation they were passing through? Why some of the radiations they were having deviation or deflection? And why few radiations they were bounced back? That's what on those observations he has put forward at atomic model. He has put forward at atomic model. Okay? Atomic model. Now, first thing, first sentence should be, it is based on alpha particles scattering experiment using gold foil. Based on alpha particles scattering experiment scattering using gold foil experiment using gold foil experiment okay that should be the first sentence okay now no need to draw all those pictures and all now straight away you can come to that in case of the gold foil experiment what they observed high amount of radiation they were passing through the straight line without any deflection or bouncing back right so that shows that atoms are having atoms are having high amount of high amount of empty spaces high amount of empty spaces right so therefore whichever radiation they were passing through those empty space they were passing through the straight line what my point so that's why due to this region reason so therefore most of the radiations most of the radiations 
where passing in a straight line where passing in a straight line so this is the reason what is that atoms are having high amount of empty spaces but my point all of you have understood now next one since presence of positive charge in the atom since presence of positive charge charge in the sense or a positive charge in the atom radiations where radiations where deflected or deviated deflected or deviated whichever radiation will come near to that positive charge they will get deviated because positive positive they will repel each other right so positive positive they will repel each other that's what this point talks about so due to the presence of positive charge in the atom so some of the radiations they were getting deviated all of you have understood so now next positive charge of the atom is concentrated is concentrated in a small part in a small part of the atom in a small part of the atom so due to that few radiations very few radiations were bouncing back few radiations were bouncing back so what is that since atoms are having a high amount of empty space most of the radiations they were passing straight line or they were passing into a straight line next one since presence of positive charge in the atom whichever radiations will come near to that one it will get deviated or deflected now since positive charge is not uniformly distributed throughout the atom but it is focused or it is located in a small part of the atom so therefore only few radiations were bouncing back what i mean to tell here is whichever radiations were moving exactly straight to that positive charge they were getting bounced back so for example if these are the gold foil atoms or gold atoms now many radiations they will pass through many radiations they will pass through because there is a empty space okay they were passing in a straight line now whichever comes near to the positive charge whichever comes near to the positive charge they will have a deflection they will have a deflection and only those radiations which are coming exactly opposite to that positive charge they were coming back they were coming back so that's what this particular explanation talks about this diagram you can draw okay so that's what the observations and that's what the conclusion from the observation still we have not talked about atomic model exactly i am talking about observations conclusion with respect to the atomic model any doubts in this so what was that observation most of the radiation they will pass in the straight line so that's for there will be presence of lots and lots of empty spaces okay so that's what empty spaces are there so many radiations which will enter into those empty spaces they will pass in a straight line now next one since the presence of positive charge in the atom now what is happening so there is a oh, this board is not clear one minute okay now whether it is clear for all of you now whether board is clear 
you can just tell me yes if it is clear if it is not clear you can tell me no okay so now it's clear now i'll change the marker also okay fine okay okay so that's where we have the second point since presence of positive charge in the atom if there would have not been any positive charge so what will happen if there is no positive charge then there no radiation would have been deflected or no radiation would have been bounced back since they are getting deflected and bounced back that shows that there should be presence of a positive charge so that's what second point and the last point since positive charge is located into a small region of the atom they are not present throughout the atom they are present in a small region of the atom only few radiation they were getting bounced back so that's what the conclusion here is all of you have understood right so shall we move to the atomic model exactly so this is the explanation for the observation this is the conclusion for the observation of experiment okay so shall we move to the next one that is exactly the atomic model of Rutherf uh, rutherford's atomic model next one okay so based on this conclusion rutherford put forward a the atomic model of the atom he put forward a atomic model of the atom based on the conclusion of his experiment okay so what is that that is positive charge or positive part of the atom positive part of the atom atoms are concentrated concentrated into a small region into a small region of the atom called as atoms small region of the atoms called as nucleus he is the one who coined this word nucleus this word has to be written in the small part of the atom nucleus that region is called as nucleus so that word has to come and you have to underline that word okay so that nucleus word was coined by rutherford okay it was coined by rutherford then next point electrons electrons will be revolving electrons will be revolving around the nucleus electrons will be revolving around the nucleus in a definite path in a definite path called as called as orbit even this word has to be underlined orbit called as orbit even that orbit word has to be underlined so what is that first point positive part of the atoms are concentrated into a small regions of the atoms called as nucleus so that nucleus word has to be underlined okay so next point electrons will be revolving around the nucleus in a definite path called as orbit even that orbit has to be underlined now last sentence should be these positive and electrons are held held by electrostatic attraction force electrostatic attraction electrostatic attraction force they are held together by electrostatic attraction or you can mention electrostatic force anything is fine or better word is i'll use electrostatic force electrostatic force of attraction okay fine so this is with related to 
Rutherford's atomic model. This is with related to Rutherford's atomic model, which is that positive part of the atoms are concentrated into a small region of the atoms called as nucleus. Next one, electrons. You can mention in word or you can write the symbol. Electrons will be revolving around the nucleus in a definite path called as orbit. And the last one is this positive and negative electrons, that is positive and electrons are held by electrostatic force of attraction. So these are the three points you should write for Rutherford's atomic model. Along with that, last one sentence, okay, last one sentence we can write, which cannot be given as a point, I will mention here is, therefore, Rutherford's atomic model, atomic model is like our solar system, is like our solar system, where, where sun is like nucleus, sun is like nucleus of the atom, nucleus of the atom and planets, planets revolving around the sun, revolving around the sun is like electrons, is like electrons. That one sentence should come. But my point, in the examination, if they ask Rutherford's atomic model, these points, if you write with the last that one sentence, you are going to get complete three marks. Okay? So last one sentence is, Rutherford's atomic model is like our solar system. Right? So in solar system, what is there? We have the sun. And this sun will be revolving with the planets, like earth and all. Okay? So yes, Rakesh, I will explain. Now, if you come to Rutherford's atomic model, in your exam they can ask, explain the Rutherford's experiment on gold foil, okay, or alpha particle scattering experiment, that is different, and explain the conclusion of the Rutherford's experiment, that is different, and explain the Rutherford's atomic model, that is different. So based on same concept, three questions can be asked, three types of question. Now, when I am talking about Rutherford's atomic model, if they have asked in the exam, first sentence you should write, it is based on the alpha particle scattering using gold foil experiment. If in the examination, if they ask, explain the Rutherford's atomic model for 3 marks or 4 marks, whatever it might be, you should write or first sentence that it is based on the alpha particle scattering using gold foil experiment. That should be your one sentence. Then you should give the points. What is that atomic model? The first point here is positive part of the atoms are concentrated into a small region of the atom called as nucleus. So that nucleus word, underline it. So that evaluator can easily see that one. Okay. So next point. Electrons will be revolving around the nucleus in a definite path called as orbit. So that orbit also underline it. Don't think orbit means chewing gum. That after food we will be eating. Na? So not that one. Okay, na? So orbit. Make underline that one word. Okay. And the last one is this positive and negative part will be held together by the electrostatic force of attraction. That should be three points or three postulates for the Rutherford's atomic model. And at the end, one sentence should be written that Rutherford's atomic model is compared to the solar system where nucleus part of an atom is taken by the sun and electrons part of the atom will be taken by the planets. Because even in solar system we have the sun which will be static, means it is not moving anything, it is present in the center and it will be revolved by the planets. Same logic, we have the nucleus and electrons will be revolving around the nucleus. 
So that's why it is compared to our solar system. So this is with respect to Rutherford's experiment. Uh, sorry, Rutherford's atomic model. All of you have understood? Now, if they ask about Rutherford's experiment, then first whatever I have told, that one you should write. So with neat label, neat diagram, then you should give the parts. What are the observations made by those experiments? Where most of the radiation they will pass through in a straight line through the gold foil. Next one. Some of them will get deviated or deflected and very few of them will be bounced back. So that's what three points for the observation. That is one set. Then what are the conclusions of Rutherford's experiment? Observations different, conclusion is different. So conclusion here is most of the radiation they were passing straight through the gold foil because atoms are having lots and lots of empty space. Right? So some of the radiations they were getting deviated because atoms will have the positive charge. Now very few radiations will be bounced back that is because they will be having so a diagram also carries marks. No. Diagram will not have any much importance in this case means in case of the experiment and all but better to draw the diagram. Okay. But for points you will have the marks. So very few radiations will be bounced back because because that is due to positive charge which is concentrated in a small part of the atom. Positive charge of the atom is concentrated into a small part of the atom. Already. Any doubts in this? This is very important to the force experiment. Very very important for your board exam point of view. Any doubts? Hmm? Okay, what you can do is, even you can go through the check sheet or your textbook, whatever is there, and you can practice that one. Okay? So this is very important, Rutherford's experiment. Fine? Okay, if you don't have any doubts, in that case, I will stop here. Thank you. Thank you, Pa. Thank you. Take care. Hmm? Bye.